Hello, my name is Walid Al-Rabah and I'm an Applications Engineer with Hawkridge Systems. In this video, I will be showing you how to simulate an open container filled with the fluid. So once you are done modeling the container geometry, the first step you need to take is to create a reference coordinate system. The origin of this reference coordinate system should be situated right at the, at the fluid surface level. So for this example, I want this container to be filled right to the top. The second aspect of your coordinate system is that one of the major axes should be situated vertically. This will represent the height of the fluid starting at zero at the surface and increasing right down to the bottom of the container. Once you are done creating your coordinate system, you can start a new static study. For this analysis, I will be using plastic ABS for the material. For the fixed geometry, I will fix the bottom face of the container. Now we can set up our external loads. I will set a pressure on the inside walls of the container. This represents the pressure that the fluid exerts on the container walls. Now I can set my pressure value. I'll be using the metric system with meters as the unit of length. I will set the multiplier to one, and now I can activate the non-uniform distribution option. For the coordinate system, I can choose the reference coordinate system, which we created earlier. Then I'll make sure my unit of length is in meters and edit the equation. Here we can see variables for the major axes, namely the x, y, and z. In this analysis, I am only interested in the y-axis. Therefore, the x and z variables should have no effect. In order to negate them, I will simply delete them. You can also multiply them by zero. And now I will multiply the gravitational constant, which is 9.81 meters per second squared, multiply by the fluid density. So for water, that's 1,000 kilogram per meter cubed. Then I'll multiply that by the height of the fluid in meters. Now I can accept this. As a quick check, we can see that the magnitude of the arrows, which represents the magnitude of the pressure, starts at zero at the top of the container and increases right down to the bottom of the container. And this is what we would expect. So now we would mesh this body and analyze the results. Luckily, I've done so beforehand, so we can jump right into the results. Here we can see the maximal von Mies stress of 0 0.17 megapascals. Let's also take a look at the displacement. We can see a maximal displacement of 0 0.01 millimeters. And these are, these are only a couple of the results that we can take a look at. So just to recap, in this video, I talked about how you can simulate an open container filled with a fluid. For more videos like this, please subscribe to the Hawkridge Systems channel. Thank you very much for watching.